made an excellent choice. What's going on? My name is Cody. The guy you see on the screen is Eli. And today, I want to say thank you guys so, so freaking much. Guys, 2,104 subscribers as of right now, right this second. So thank you guys so very much. We have a giveaway coming up. That's all the information is going to be in the next video. We're doing a single head Rhino Pro and a hundred dollars to four people so five winners complete i am excited thank you guys so so much we have so much more to come we have deals coming for you promo codes from candymachine.com we have so much stuff coming but what's let's go ahead and get into this video and get into the juicy stuff guys so we're back at our kitty crane at the Mexican restaurant and it is a hot spot. So this is a two week uh, service. Eli is filling up the machine with Pokemon cards and extra different kind of plush. And I was asked how we landed this spot specifically. This is a restaurant in our town and it's pretty much the go-to spot to get Mexican food. One day we were just sitting down eating, I think we even had our parents with us perhaps, and we just pitched the whole idea to them and they absolutely loved it. We told them about the NCCS and sort of how that all works and got that in and we pitched the idea to them for a claw machine and that's when it all really kind of exploded and we really started getting into the money now before they didn't have anything at all so when it's super super new it's kind of a uh, a learning experience for everyone because they don't know that it's there yet and it's kind of out of sight but as we're going to get into it deeper into this video you're going to see that it all paid off but let's go ahead see what this guy made Alright, we made it to the juice. Let's go ahead and crack open this coin box and see how it did. Now keep in mind too, this is after two weeks. Look at that, wow. That is very, very good. 67.50. Great. And you guys saw the intro, so you know that it did fantastic on bills. There's a bunch of fives in there, too. And we have arrived to our seafood restaurant. Not our seafood restaurant, but a location. And we have a cocktail here. It's a very, very nice cocktail. Very expensive cocktail. <laughs> Coin pusher, of course. It's one of my favorites. It's got the side windows on it love it and our claw machine now this claw machine has been off for a little while they're doing renovations at this restaurant so they lost electricity on that side of the wall which is fine uh, not a not a big deal at all let's start with this coin pusher realize giving it a nice clean 
This is an example of a really good deal. We picked this guy up off of Craigslist. I had to drive about three and a half hours to go pick it up, but I'm really, really glad I did. And I also picked it up in a Prius too, guys. So, I mean, this, these kind of things don't have to be in a huge truck. So, something to keep in mind. All right, let's crack this guy open and reap the fruits of our labor. And look at that. It did very, very well. That's very, very nice to see opening up. Dump it in the coin chain or the coin counter. Look at it go. 165.50. Now that's that's what I'm talking about. Let's take it over to our candy machine, our three head. And look at those gumballs completely well just about depleted completely. Just you can see the bottom of the, the candy wheel, and that's always a good sign. Dumping it, uh, dumping all these gumballs in, you just know that you're in for a great, great pool. So, dumping in these gumballs. And they love these gumballs there, I mean, obviously, right? <laughs> Alright, let's get to the good stuff. Put that key in, turn, and bang, yes. That is awesome. Go ahead and drop all these quarters into the to the counter here and can you believe 9250 that is our second most uh, thir uh, three head candy machine pool that we have ever had all right and now we are at the cocktail table I get a lot of questions about video games and why I don't have many of them and that's sort of the answer right there now that's not too bad um, but it kind of is 10 bucks and it's been a month that um, it's it's not great but it's you know it's a great eye catcher it looks awesome so I guess we'll keep it here for sure um, yeah I mean it's a fun game and and it's it's a niche for anybody that just wants to sit down and have fun all right we made our way over to the claw machine now this claw machine has been shut off for a little while now they're doing renovations to their restaurant there's a few bucks in there. Not bad. I guess they might have plugged it up at some point, maybe with a uh, extension cord or something. And we got some quarters there. All right. Now, some of those quarters somehow got like bad stuck to the bottom of that box, and we have to come in with like a chisel or something to get those out. But we got six bucks laying there inside of the counter, so not bad. All right, we got a call about an empty change machine. This is a, an American changer, our favorite, in my, my opinion, just the best in uh, change machines. But you guys going to take that magazine off, and there's a fat wad in there. Look at that. Wow. I mean, none of it's profit, but you know that it's doing well. Now switch that money for what was made in the coin pusher, and you can leave with bills and fill your change machine up with quarters that you made with your coin pusher. Now I had to do a reshoot because it was so dark inside of the machine, but Eli turned off the machine, dumped the quarters, and down in here, this is the hopper, and it's going to dispense the quarters accordingly, depending on what you put inside of it. So he's gonna knock those remaining quarters back in, turn it back on, and we're gonna shut that door and we're gonna lock it. Before we do that, we are going to completely forget about the magazine to catch the dollar bills inside. And let's go ahead and lock that. And what a goof. We goofed up. Oops. Go grab it, Eli. There it is. All right, we made it to our gas station location, and we have a coin pusher as soon as you walk through the door. There it is. And this is a good-sized gas station. Lots of snacks, beer, pizza, hot dogs, hamburgers, you name it. But look at that claw machine. That's what's important here. Look at all the goodies inside. Now, something about this claw machine, as you can see, it was out of plain sight, and this is a very new machine, so let's go ahead and open it. Eli's going to go ahead and stick those keys in there, open that front door, and we have another key for the 
change box. That's kind of a cool thing about uh, about doing these claw machines is that you can also do it with vending machines and soda machines too, but you can make it to a point where uh, you can have people come and load the machine for you and they, they don't have any way of reaching the money. And it did $16, so not the best. However, this is a very new spot, so we're not really sweating it yet. And we talked to the owners, and they have several gas stations around this area. So it's looking very promising that we're going to get into the rest of those because he loves coin pushers, and so do we. So we're going to set him up, and we're super excited. I think that was $17, so $33 together. All right, let's take this corner and get to the coin pusher. This coin pusher, the owner told us that they had one years and years ago and it did very, very well. I've been told that, I've been told that businesses have done really, really well and they didn't do very, very well. But he was a man of his word, holy crap. This is now among one of our best locations, just the coin pusher alone, so that's not even counting the, the claw machine, so excellent stuff. Now the Tupperware we have doesn't always catch all the quarters, so look at all that extra, that's what I like to see. Alright, let's make our way to the coin counter. These guys also want to change machines, so I think that'll really increase our our profit look at that claw machine and let's go ahead and dump these quarters and see what it did all right 222.50 absolutely amazing i love it all right our collection part of the video is all done i want to talk to you guys a little bit about claw machines specifically use claw machines um Many of the cranes that we're going to show here are between 1,000 and 1,500, some as low as 700, and like this one, it's not bad, it's not bad at all. Uh, let's pull up some pictures here. I know that there's a couple of spots, and like right there, and those are kind of things to bring up with the person. I would make an offer and sort of tell them that, you know, it's got that blemish, you know, can we take off a few hundred bucks maybe, you know, start low, start low guys. So you know, in my opinion, I think this is the next step between either choosing or both uh, full line or arcade route, and I think this is the I think this is the best way to do it. You know, you're going to be spending a lot more money than you would than on bulk if you know that's what you're you know what you started with. But uh, regardless, if your if your location is doing two hundred dollars a month, which we have about 20 crane machines doing about $200 a month. It's very it's very feasible to to get your money back within the 5 to 8 months. So that's pretty good. So if you can, you know, if you can afford it and you think you're ready to transition into arcades in this uh, in, in, in this particular case then I, I strongly suggest so you know it on top of your bulk I'm gonna assume that you also do bulk it helps business owners it gives them peace of mind when you're asking them if you can put a machine in their you know in their business that you know you're not just in this one thing you know your your eggs aren't just in one basket you're kind of you're kind of scattered all over the place and you're in this and in that so it's helped us uh, in the past year so I highly recommend it but let's go ahead and talk a little bit about coin pushers all right and we are back on ebay and ebay is just such a great place to get any kind of vending machine really uh the freight can 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 be kind of bad but you can also talk them down in price uh you know if you you know if you're lucky so this is the people that make the silver strike and those are just such good prices i mean they're built so well and you can have them customized uh to do just about anything you want you can have a 
change machine put in next to the uh, the coin shoot at the bottom, guys. These things are ridiculous, man. You can make a lot of money doing those. Here's the silver strike that we love so much, and yeah, it's 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 a bit pricey at, at the fourteen hundred, but you know the one that I showed you at the seafood restaurant we found for seven hundred dollars and i just had to drive three three and a half hours maybe to go get it so you know keep your eyes peeled and look out for all these great prices now another great reason to use ebay is because of the buyer's protection now this covers just about everything when it comes to the machine uh so whenever you get it and maybe it's all beaten up and, and broken you can just refuse service and you know you get you know you get your money back so that's always a great that's always a great option but do not do not sleep on uh, the options of Facebook marketplace Craigslist offer up let go uh, we get some really good secondhand machines uh, especially if you're if you're willing to drive a few hours for them maybe uh, I recommend it, especially if it can save you a buttload of cash. So keep in mind too, whenever you get these coin pushers, you also need to put money inside of them. So that's another thing that you know you need to consider when you look at price, because there's there's money, there's also more money to be spent. So keep that in mind. All right, and we found this really handy site, how to start an LLC. Dot com. This is really cool. It's uh, it's how to start a traditional arcade. So something you would see like in a mall or uh, just like a standalone arcade, not specifically for, uh, you know, landing a machine in a grocery store or a restaurant. But you can certainly apply a lot of these things to your business. So you have all these different tabs, getting started, business overview, grow your business, uh, legal considerations uh earning potential useful links i mean this thing it, it, it's a great great tool and uh i'll put that in the description down below but let's take a look at some of these bullets here what are the steps to start an arcade now there are a bunch of steps here but i'm just going to cover a few of them to get you guys started and let's look down here and look at this list a little bit let's form a legal entity so we showed you in our past video inkfile.com so for example ours is quick vending llc right so you also need to register for taxes now this is very important you do not want to mess up your taxes you need to keep those on the straight and narrows to keep yourself out of trouble and keep your business out of trouble uh, for like the license and stuff like that, we couldn't find a directory for specific states. So maybe take that into your own hands and look into your own states.gov uh, website and see if you can't find anything there. And for insurance, now insurance is a kind of a tricky thing. Uh, for you full line guys, I recommend Hartford Insurance. They are great, but for you arcade, uh, talk to a local insurance agent and they can set you up we're with american family and they treat us really well there so uh try that out and establish a web pre uh presence guys so many times i see people without a website and it helps so much not only if people aren't going to it so uh, very often but it helps with your seo in both google and youtube so so really consider to build the website it'll help a lot and state and local license requirements now for example in missouri we would only need to obtain a game of chance license if we were doing a uh a lottery or a raffle so things like that if you've ever noticed uh on like commercials you'll hear no purchase necessary now that's kind of a loophole that they use so you don't get in trouble legally uh, with a giveaway or a chance to do a giveaway um, but these are these are some of the laws and stuff you can look up for your for your own uh, state so very very important you don't want to get in trouble and just down here at the bottom uh, you'll have to research your own state country and city regulations 
industry requirements often vary uh, state to state um, so look into this stuff guys you don't want to get into any trouble right so I think that's gonna do it for uh, this video I think I think this was a really good video and sort of long but thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for all of the subscriptions guys it means the world to Eli and I thank you thank you thank you and we're just gonna build more guys we love making these videos for you I'm gonna let you go uh, thank you for watching goodbye